name is Steve Farhan. I work for the USGS Great Lakes Science Center uh, as a deep water technician. I'm Lori Eaton. I am a contractor with the USGS um, Great Lakes Science Center. My name is Ashley Baldridge. I am a research benthic ecologist here at Globe. Okay, my name is Bo Vanell, and uh, I'm with the U.S. Geological Survey Great Lakes Science Center. So I'm Massa, and I'm a postdoc at the University of Michigan. My name is Patty Armenio, and I'm a contractor with the U.S. Geological Survey. And uh, we are in the middle of our summer cruise to understand food web linkages in the Great Lakes, especially in Lake Michigan during the CSMI year. And this year we've really amped up our sampling, so we're going out every month from April through October. I study what lives on the bottom of the lakes and how what lives at the bottom affects the rest of the lake. Towards the bottom, we're studying both benthic fish and pelagic fish, um, but certainly not top predators. These are fish that are uh, feeding off of zooplankton and phytoplankton directly. We're sampling around um, eight tributaries throughout Lake Michigan, and we're looking at different depths to see how nutrient loading from the rivers impact the food web. Actually, following the CSMI uh, lakes each year, we started in Lake Huron in 2012, um, worked on that for a couple years, and then actually went to Lake Erie in CSMI in 2014, and now I'm working on Lake Michigan in 2015. I I think research at this scale, at this level, uh, is really important to sort of coordinate management on the lake. Um, it's not often that you can get everybody in the same place at the same time, spending the same amount of money at the same time. So coordinated all the, coordinating all the different agencies to do that, I think, is an important uh, tool for management of the Great Lakes. So, um, we're working with other agencies, such as NOAA and EPA, to um, collect various components of the food web to give kind of an overall picture of what's happening within Lake Michigan. Um, so in 2015 on Lake Michigan we've had better collaboration than I think we have had in the past. I was also involved in the 2010 effort and it's been really great seeing uh, USGS and NOAA and EPA work together with some of our um, academic colleagues to try to better under, better provide complementary complementary research uh, that can, as a whole, provide a much greater uh, understanding of the food web than what any one single agency can